Here are 12 mood boosting foods. Hi, I'm Angie. Hey, I'm Eddie. Thanks for joining us at Life Squared. You bet. Welcome to Life Squared, brought to you by the Perfectly Imperfect Network, from imperfect folk everywhere. Well, I'm kind of excited about this one. Yeah. Because everybody wants to feel better. Everybody likes to be boosted. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and natural is best. Natural. Yes, natural is best. So we brought out a few of our mood boosting foods and um, we hope you try it. We're also going to tell you a little bit about um, the other properties, the other good stuff about these foods, because these foods are mood boosters, but they also, in their own right, have a lot of good stuff going for them. Most of them are superfoods. Yeah. Going to start out with walnuts. Love walnuts. Walnuts have omega-3s, very similar to like salmon. Okay, we have been giving you a lot of omega-3s lately because you are on a brain re-landscaping diet and exercise program. Yes. And it's working out very well. Doing very we, well. We um, are using Dr. Almonds. Yep. That's almond, as in A-M-E-N, spelled like amen. Yeah. And I do say amen. 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 It's working. It's, it's working. So, we put walnuts on your oatmeal almost every morning. Yep. We put, we put some kind of nuts every morning. A lot of nuts do have omega-3s. Yep. But those are mood boosting. Mood. Okay. Makes you happy. Yeah. Kefir. Kefir. Probiotics are great. It's also a part of this brain boosting diet that you've been... A bun on it. For. It's working, guys. It is working. You you have increased a lot of your skills. Yes, I have. You have built your brain back up. You feel better. I feel much better. I don't know. Would you say it's mood boosting? It's very mood boosting. Okay. Kefir. You have kefir every day? Every day. Just a little shot. According to the experts, um, they even mentioned that on one of Dr. Oz's programs, about an ounce a day is all you need. You don't need to drink eight ounces and get a bunch of calories and a bunch of milk products. Um, but kefir and um, is very, very good. Hey, the strawberry's good, too. Well, you really should have the plain. I know. I but cheat just a little. This guy cheats at the grocery I cheat store a little. every time. If I don't grab it, we get strawberry. True. That is true. Next. Green tea. Make a cup of green tea. Make lots of cups. If you if you can tolerate it, drink, drink it. A lot of green tea. It's great for weight loss. It's great for mood. Make an experience out of it. You bet. Tea time. Um, our kids do these little Japanese um, tea ceremonies. Right. You know. So so try to make it a theme. Try it. Number four. Four. Flaxseed. We buy milled flaxseed. Why? Because it's more palatable. Yeah. And it's easy to put in drinks. Um, if you're going to use your blender, um, we put it on your oatmeal every day. Yes, we do. And you can even put it in a salad and a soup. Um, flaxseed is great mood boosting. It also has omega-3s. It's great for your heart. It is great for your brain. No taste. Good stuff. It really doesn't have much taste. No. Yeah. No. It's really great. Number five. Okra. We don't have any here. You know why? There's a shortage right now. Yes. We were making gumbo last week. Yeah. How many stores did we go to? Four. Four stores before we found a bag of frozen okra. So I don't know what supply chain issue that's about, but there's one going on. It's called no okra. Yeah. So the other one is oatmeal. Number oatmeal six. Oatmeal any way you get it. Yeah. Buy. Number six. Eat it. It lowers cholesterol. It is brain booster. 
and apparently it's a mood booster. It does work. You know, you got oat bran, you got quick oats, you got long oats, you got fast oats. We um, we have them all. You can put them in those. We we sometimes put them in those little um, balls. Yeah. Little protein balls. Yep. Excellent oatmeal, oatmeal, oatmeal. So many super ways. Super feared, super feared. It really did lower your cholesterol. Um, you did it for about two months. Yeah. Had some blood work done and your lipids were much better. I improved. So if you stick with it, you know, the advertisements on the TV are correct. It really does work. Yeah. Number seven, one of my favorites, avocado. Eat it alone, eat it with eggs, eat it on a salad. Um, you make this champion breakfast yep. with avocados, avocado toast, guac, avocado, avocado. It is so good for you. It's like Roto-Rooter for your heart and your arteries, and it's a mood booster. You can't eat too much. Yeah. No. And number eight. Take my favorite, ahead. my favorite, cottage cheese. And if you notice, we get the big one. Because why? <laughs> because why? I like it, and I put it on every, almost every time I eat salad, just because I like the taste of it, and I think it blends well, and it just changes the taste of a salad, and it makes it kind of a, a different animal by the different taste that it brings yeah, out. Yeah, but it brings the... a lot of protein. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of. Um nutritionists and experts say that if you're going to eat pasta in order for you not to get that big insulin high low to also eat cottage cheese with it yep we have some cottage cheese recipes yes we do on um on our youtube channel at life squared so please check those out because they're really good one really tastes like um kind of tastes like cheesecake yes excellent excellent try it Number nine, salmon. Salmon. Lots of omega-3s. Salmon is so good for pretty much everything. It's low calorie. It's easy peasy to cook. Yep. Um, uh, you can use your air fryer with it. I, my son had me quitting using my air fryer with my salmon because he goes, oh mom, you're losing all the oils, which he was right. But now we've learned to line it with foil. So I can go back to cooking my salmon in the air fryer. You can just saute it. You can cook it in lime juice. Right. Whatever. It is easy. It is good. You can put it in a salad. Salmon, salmon, salmon. Great food. Number 10. Number 10. Everybody's favorites. Coffee and wine. Coffee. Yeah. Wine. It is a mood boosting food. And so is wine. Especially red wine. Yes. Number 11. Eggs. Great source of B12, great source of protein, boost to mood. You know, eggs got a bad rap, I don't know, a couple decades ago. Now yep. we're back to going, eggs are the greatest ever. I love eggs. I love eggs. We put them in our salads. We put, we put them we in. We'll eat eggs any way you can eat eggs. Yeah, we will. We're egg freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Number 12. Number salsa. 12. Salsa. Yay. Salsa. And salsa has tomatoes, which is a great source of lycopene. We also have a video about lycopene. Yes, we do. And how great it is for you. So here you go. This is your 12. How easy is that? Very easy. Just check your cupboard if you're feeling a little low and, you know, we're moving into wintertime right now and sometimes that's easy to do. Yeah. So, here you go. Thanks for joining us. See you soon. Bye now. We really appreciate you joining us today at Life Squared on the Perfectly Imperfect Network. To get more content, please consider subscribing. If you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Thanks for watching.